That was my whole existence as a kid. I mean, I was, you know, my first, my allowance, the first thing I bought with my allowance, it's true, it was a canoe. I used Grumman and wind damaged Grumman from up there on 35W. Played football at Cooper. You know, I corned a tassel down in Mankato. I. <laughs> Hi, I'm Steve Zahn, and this is my North. Anyway, I wanted to be an actor, and I was living at home, and one of my mentors, Frank Plute, a brilliant director and teacher, convinced me to go to this audition. He said, yeah, this is a perfect play for you. And it's at the Old Log Dinner Theater. I said, yeah, but that's, you know, that's like, you know, professional, I can't, it's against the rules. I can't go. He's like, go. And I went and auditioned and I got the part. And, and that was my baptism into, into the world of theater. It was, a, it was a blast. It was really a blast. Matinees, 800 seat house, prime rib, good prime rib. It was a great, great job. In Plymouth Junior High, it was in Plymouth Junior High, and Ert, Ert Jones Hermes, he's great. He was my football coach in high school. But I met him because he had an improv group. And if you got invited into the improv group in ninth grade, you spent with, with eight people, like three hours of all day, it was structured. You'd have speech, lunch, break, something else, and you, and you met as an improv group. Where does that happen in schools? Because of that, I do what I do, period. I, if I wasn't exposed to that, I don't know if I would, have, I would have found that stuff. I don't know if I would have had that encouragement. To, to, to you know, go on and just go, I think I'm gonna be an actor. I wouldn't know what to do. What a great thing as a kid to experience. But um, still a Vikes fan, still love the Twins, you know, I want the Wild to do well. Minnesota is still a very huge part of my, my life. My folks still live there. My sister Nancy, Nancy, she lives in Mayer. As I say, Mayer. She says, Mayer. We live out in the mirror. She makes tear tot casseroles.